On this RV decor series, I'm going to let you know, can you decorate your RV for Christmas? I wanted to do this video at least a week ago, but just things have been piling up between real estate, we're hunting, and it's just this time of year, it is so hard to get out YouTube videos. I have never decorated our RV. I'm going to be honest to let you know. This is the first year because Bill would never let me decorate our RV for Christmas. So I ended up just going to the Dollar Tree and grabbing a bunch of different things. So you can do it on a budget. And a lot of the things that I grabbed won't take up much room or you can throw them away after Christmas so that they don't take up much room if you do full time. The first thing that I grabbed was the Nutcrackers and they may have gone with someone else's style but they didn't match mine. I just took paint with a baking soda and mixed it together and put that on there to give them like a concrete look. I just took off their beards and their hair and painted them and I think they turned out cute and they match what I was wanting to go for. The same thing with the RV. They had the cutest little RV. I didn't want those colors in my RV, so I spray painted it. Get her down. Huh? What RV are you talking about? There. The little uh, white RV. That doesn't look like an RV. It is an RV. It's got tires on it. Well, I see it now, but it didn't look like an RV, like a little house. I thought you were talking about the little RVs that are hanging. Oh, no. I thought I'm fixing to get to talk about those. Yeah, I thought you said you painted those. No. Like you. I don't think you painted those. No, I did not paint those. Also, when I was at the Dollar Tree, I found the cutest little RV Christmas ornaments, which I did bring this garland from the house because I had it extra, and then I put them on it. I got the trees on each side from the Dollar Tree. Now, you do to add to them to make them fuller. On the trees, you want to make them look more fuller with the wire garland ties. You just tie them on, and it takes the little tree and makes it much better. And then I just took some pine cones and I got the Christmas tree toppers as well. The collars that I have around the bottom of them, I already had those. I think I got them at Target last year. I got the cute little lanterns that I have beside them at the Dollar Tree and I did nothing to them. Another thing that I did is over on top of the chairs, I got the chair covers at the Dollar Tree and I put them on. They're super cute. If I'd had time, I would have taken the Cricut machine and I could have put like Bill and Kelly on them. I think that would have been super cute. <laughs> I got at the Dollar Tree. Okay, well you just said you got everything at the Dollar Tree. I did put a cute little bucket together and everything that I did in there, I got at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> also, I had these little tags that I found at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> You need, a, you need a at the Dollar Tree counter on there. It says at the Dollar Tree counter. And be, ding, 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 Everything ding. came from the Dollar Tree. Okay, then no, you don't have to say it again. <laughs> but I had them want to know where it came from. I, I mean, like, I didn't everything. say every, I mean, like, I got most of it at the Dollar Tree, so I have to tell them where it came from. All I did was take some black spray paint and painted them, and then some rubbing buff, and I think that I made those items look like a high-end instead of a dollar 25. Another thing that I did that is super easy is I took, <laughs> you're just getting in my head and now I can't what? even, this is why I don't do these videos in front of you because you just keep on and then it just messes me up. I got some wrapping paper and you know where I got it at? Where did I get it at, babe? I'm sure you got it at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> I got it at the Dollar Tree. I did. <laughs> All I did was cut them and put them on the doors and just took some scotch tape and attached them. And that way, it adds Christmas with little to no money. Also, I took garland that I had got at the Dollar Tree. But then I took garland. <sighs> the garland that I got at the Dollar Tree I took it and made some cute little wreaths and then I took the other stuff and tied them around them and I even got some snow that I had gotten at the Dollar Tree and I sprayed on them to give them that frosted look. 
I had some berries also that I got at the Dollar Tree that I put on them and then the ribbon that I got at the Dollar Tree as well. I'm sorry, you just, you're gonna have to, I, that's what I say because that's where I got them. Then I got these pillowcase covers that I got at Amazon. <laughs> I have these pillowcase covers that I ordered off of Amazon and I love these because they're just the pillowcase covers so you can put them over the top of your existing pillows. I already had some pillowcase covers and I just put these on top of them but when I get done with these if I needed to store these in the RV you could just fold them up and put them inside the other pillowcase and you would never even know they're there and I think they're super cute. And this came in a four pack. So if you wanted to put some in the bedroom and some in the den, you could do that as well. This here is just a blanket scarf that I had gotten at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> He's just, I can't do videos with him. It just messes me up. <laughs> I had gotten this at the Dollar Tree and I put this on here to kind of tie all my colors in. I just picked up a Dollar Tree mat. Then I searched on the internet for snowmen and I just took and painted on it a cute little snowman to add an extra Christmas touch. I didn't go over the top crazy Christmas, but I did make it feel like Christmas. Another thing that I did off of Amazon, I ordered the lights that I put behind the TV and I just turned them to red and make it more feel like Christmas and then my lights that were around the bar, they burned out. I talked about in another video, they were having problems. Well, I ordered another set and only half of them are working. So the company is sending me a new set, but I don't have them yet. But you could just, if you had changeable lights, you could change the lights to whatever color for Christmas that you want. And I think that's a great way to add Christmas. I took also took the garland ties that I'd gotten. I put them up the bar of the lights over the bar. I took some of the mesh ribbon and I just cut a piece and then I tied a garland tie around it and then tied it on to make a bow. I had asked on Facebook to see what people decorate for Christmas and some people they go all out Christmas in their RV. So you don't think that you can not put a Christmas tree up or anything like that just because you don't, just because you live in an RV. Till next time, like and subscribe.